we had Brangelina, right? And then we had Tomcat, Benifer. Now we have Kaigo. So if you're like me and had no fucking idea who Kaigo was, it is Kylie Jenner and Tyga mixed together because they're a couple. Get it, guys? In case you're interested in the Kaiga timeline, here it is. So let's take it back to November 2011 when Tyga performed at Kendall Jenner's Sweet 16. Kylie was, what, she was 14 at that time and she was hanging out with Tyga, like gushing over him. So around July 2014 is when Tyga starts showing up in Kylie's Instagrams. So that's how you know it's real. Fast forward to August 2014, Tyga actually hosts Kylie's 17th birthday party at his house. Why would a grown ass man host a teenager's birthday party with all his grown ass friends? Friends. Apparently and allegedly he's still with China at this point, but is he? So in August 2014, Black China and Taiga break up. And this is when all the starts going down. So September 2014, Taiga hops on Twitter and talks about the rumors about him dating Kylie. Taiga tweets, we all just friends. I'ma hope they are, because in many states at that time, if anything else was happening, it was illegal. So he gave an interview with Vibe when he basically said like, Black China needs to learn to be more responsible and like be without her Prince Charming. Okay, so you're Prince Charming, you left her alone with a child to go date a 17 year old. October 2014, Tyga and Kylie were Chucky and the Bride of Chucky for Halloween. Wasn't that fitting? A horror movie waiting to happen. Thanksgiving 2014, Kylie and Tyga do some charity together. They are serving food for the homeless. And there's that infamous picture of them with her and her like long teal hair, staring deeply and lovingly into his eyes. Maybe they're still friends at this point or like maybe they're dating. But the next day she posts, I'm thankful for that 25 year old man. Girl, my mother would have snatched me clean from wherever I was, please. The holidays are approaching, but on December 11th, 2014, Kylie's had it. Okay, because she's like, I'm not pregnant, I'm not married, and I'm not trying to become a rapper. Got it, Kylie. February 8th, 2015, Kaiga parties together over Grammy weekend. I guess he's getting her into clubs now. Who ran that party? Who's the promoter? I need to know. So February 12th, 2015, 6 p.m. in New York gets dropped song from Drake, and who does he call out? He's telling Tyga, act your age, not your girl's age, which is, I guess, Tyga's 25 and Kylie's 17. You know, if Drake says it, then it's gotta be real. February 13th, 2015, the day before Valentine's Day, may I add, Amber Rose goes on The Breakfast Club for the infamous interview. Basically, she was saying, Kylie's a child, Tyga's an adult, this should not be happening, and Black China's like alone with her child and it's really screwed up. Then Khloe Kardashian comes through on Twitter to defend Kylie from Amber, calling out that Amber used to be a stripper. Pause, hold on, let me help you out. You can't compare Mother Rose being a stripper at 15 to your sister having a career because everything was set up for her. And girl, you need to have several of these seats. So after this, Tyga goes on The Breakfast Club and says that he's not dating Kylie Jenner. So right after that, on February 20th, Kanye West goes on The Breakfast Club and says that he thinks that Tyga got in early with Kylie and that they're in love, basically negating everything Tyga just said about Kylie. Kris Jenner needs to hold a family meeting immediately because nobody knows what's going on with their relationship. Certain things catch your eye, but only a few things capture the heart. Tyga. We know they in love, we knew it. We just waiting for y'all to stop lying. So after all of this craziness, his ex, Black China, comes out of the woodwork with a series of text messages where Tyga's saying that he wants to be with her. Does he want them both? No one really knows, but these texts are pretty incriminating. April 2015, Tyga gets Kylie's name tattooed on his arm, so. So finally, August 10th, 2015, Kylie turns 18, so now we can flaunt that relationship. And how do we flaunt it? By buying Kylie a Ferrari. So in November 2015, Tyga and Kylie allegedly broke up because of something Tyga did. So right after this breakup, Tyga and Kylie spend Thanksgiving together with the entire Kardashian clan. What the future holds for these two? Probably more selfies. I'm happy for them. I really am. And in the grand scale of things, the older you get, the less age matters. Y'all won't go ever be in school together, but it's fine. 